welcome. Uh, quick video for only for Facebook. I'm not putting this one on YouTube. This is only for, for Facebook. It's a very quick video. Very simple recipe, but super lovely. Um, having a beer today, Saturday morning. Um, when we have a beer in Spain, as you all know, and this might sound a bit cliche, but it is true, we always have something to nibble. And one thing we love in Spain is tinned, um, tinned food. Tinned food, when I mean tinned food, I'm talking shellfish, especially shellfish, like things like sardines, mackerel, um, cockles, um, razor clams, and um, mussels. Unfortunately, I can't do this with fresh mussels because I've been waiting for weeks and weeks and weeks and I really cannot find uh, fresh mussels. So I'm going to have to use frozen ones, which are good quality, but I haven't controlled how they were cooked. OK, so very simple. We're going to make them in a scavenger like if they were tinned, super fast to do and really, really easy. Frying pan on medium heat. You don't want it too high. I'm actually going to lower it because I can feel it's a little bit high. I'm going to put half a cup of olive oil, it's extra virgin, and we're going to put it in there. And now we're going to flavor it super fast. Two cloves of garlic, which are going to slightly simmer and release those juices. Two bay leaves, peppercorns. I'm actually using Szechuan for just to give it a different flavor. And if you want, and only if you want, I do, as always, you're going to use uh, a chili as, as powerful or as much or as little as you want. I'm actually going to split it in two because I want to release as much flavor as I want. This is a Canarian chili. I'll tell you its name and its origin one day, but not now. <laughs> right, those seeds can stay there. Anyway, we're going to slightly cook these very slightly. Again, lower the temperature. It's not about heat. It's only about flavoring. The, it's only about flavoring the, the oil, okay? So, we're gonna just quickly turn these in here and flavor this oil. This is gonna take just a few seconds, so I'll be back in a minute. Right, a couple of minutes have literally just passed by, and now we're going to remove it off the heat. Right, that's enough. We've infused the flavors that we wanted, and we're gonna get rid of the garlic. We don't want the garlic because it's done its job already. We've, we've crushed it, thrown it in there, and it's done its job. But I am going to leave the chili because I like the heat, and I'm going to leave the, the bay leaf to carry on infusing. It is now time for paprika. Always Spanish, paprika, please. And from La Vera, which is basically the best paprika in the world. So, heat teaspoon, we're gonna use one and two. Get rid of that, mix it all in, and now we're going to let it cool ever so slightly. As I said, half a cup of oil, you've got all the other ingredients, and now a shot glass, literally, of sherry vinegar. Be very careful when you do this. You're throwing cold liquid into, into hot, okay? So let it rest, throw it in, carefully, and let that infuse okay without let it cool throw these into a jar and then that when it's cold into that because that's already cooked and then we let it leave it for at least 24 hours one week even better and i'll show you how to eat it i'll see you later foodies take care and be safe